Hey guys, if you're in one and I'm bringing you a video about Sea of Thieves. Now, I've been playing the game for a bit, and it's a fun game. It's fun to play, especially when you have friends. But there are some things missing and some things I think they need to update on. So I'm just going to list my five things that I think could help Sea of Thieves be a better game. Let's start with number five, more crew members. Right now, you're limited to four, and the thing is that Especially when it comes to forts and stuff like that, it'd be a lot easier if you had like eight people working together. So maybe even if it's not like a full crew, maybe just for like the special, the big stuff, you could have like a mixed crew or something like that, or just a big crew just for that mission. And then once they give in the, the stuff, they get off. Kind of like how Star Wars The Old Republic does operations where you set up an operation with, I think it's eight to 16 people. Even if it's just for like the raids, it'd be good to have, be able to set it so that you could have more people in your crew. And even if you don't have more people in your crew, we can move on to number four, which is two swoops in a crew. See, the thing is that sometimes you don't want to just have this big galley with four people in it. Sometimes you'd rather have two swoops because it'd be cooler. Like um, in some cases where like the treasures are, ba are buried on really far parts of the island, one crew could go one place, the other, pl the other crew could go another place. And it'd be kind of cool, you know, having two swoops instead of just one. Maybe they could even go to different islands. Like, okay, I'm going to go to this island, you go to this island, and we'll, we'll just meet back at the outpost or something like that. I think that'd be cool to have two swoops in a crew instead of having always have to have, when you have four people, to have the galley. You could just have two swoops. And number three, now this one is a pretty important one, but the thing is that... I know a lot of people like their cosmetics, so it's number three. It's not number one, because this is probably my number one. But have the stuff you can buy from people be more than just cosmetic. As far as I know, it seems like everything you can buy from the vendors is just cosmetic. It's not like, like the guns you can buy just may look better. They don't actually shoot more powerful. I see what they're probably trying to do. It seems like Thea Thieves is one of those things where it doesn't matter what level you are with the factions. Someone can come in with their sword and gun and kill you and blah, 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 because there's no like damage raising when you raise levels. Like with the factions, it's just raising levels with the factions. But still, what is the point? See, for me, I really don't care about cosmetics all that much. So I'm like, why? It just doesn't make much sense to me for the things you can buy from the shop owners and everything just to be cosmetic. It should be something different. I mean, imagine if the division, all those scopes and all those stuff you put on your gun were just cosmetic. What would be the point of that? So I think that they definitely need to have these vendors be selling stuff that's more than just cosmetic changes. And number two, now this has to do once again with kind of the cosmetic thing, but not as much. Because even if you keep it cosmetics, I prefer for some of the items to be able to get by quest. You guys remember, like, I bet Old Republic or World of Warcraft or whatever MMO we played, and you played that one big quest that gave you that one really good item that you used for a long time before replacing it probably with a better item, but you still use it for a long time. And I like those quests. It, it feels like you've earned that item. It's kind of better than just getting money for all your quests and then having to buy the better items. To me... Quest should have usable items, like maybe a better sword, or a better looking sword in this case, I guess, or a better looking gun. It shouldn't just be quest, you dig up your treasure, you sell it, and then you try to buy what you want. I think that there should be some stuff that you can actually use at the end of a quest. And number one, the biggest one for me, and I think for a lot of people, because even though Sea of Thieves is fun, it still is extremely repetitive. Now, why is that? Because there are only three real enemies in Sea of Thieves. There are skeletons, sharks, and snakes. So bumping into these enemies again and again and again and again and again and again and again, after a while, it just gets a bit repetitive. I mean, the only unique enemy is the Kraken. And even though the battle with it is unique, I'm not exactly sure whether you can beat it or not. You seem to just like make it go away. I didn't even see any reward or anything like that. If there is a reward for the Kraken, you guys let me know. Because that's a pretty big battle to have no reward at the end. So, really, this is a big thing to me because how can you have a game, an MMO, where those are the only enemies? I mean, I mean, really? Who thought that? Who thought that at the, at the company? Like, oh yeah, these are going to be the enemies. Oh, okay, that's great. Wait a minute, that's three minus the Kraken, who is kind of like a special enemy? Yeah, okay, just checking. I mean, a lot of games have different enemies, and a lot of games have different enemies that you have to beat in a different way. So, to me, it's just kind of a waste here. All enemies can be disputed simply by swiping your sword or shooting your gun. There, there doesn't seem to be any special enemy that has, like, a weak spot or anything like that or something that you have to exploit. So, to me, it just kind of is a huge faux pas because... 
it just it's just something that will get repetitive extremely quickly. There, there are only three basic enemies and then one special being the Kraken. Yeah. No. Anyway, those are my five tips for Thief of Thieves that I think would make it a better game. Why don't you guys tell me some tips that you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.